I don't need no fucking guns. I can blow you away with my fucking banana. <laughs> All right? And uh, you guys want to hear another story? Yeah. Yes. Okay, this is a story about how the New York Dolls named themselves. The year is 1968, and Sylvain Sylvain is working at a blue jean, you know, bell-bottom shop, as we called them back then. It's on Lexington Avenue and 64th Street in New York City. And uh, it's called The Different Drummer, by the way. I don't know if you ever remember that. Anyways, uh, I once sold a pair of pants to Janis Joplin. It was a tight fit, but I <laughs> And uh, across the street from where I worked, on the second floor, kind of where you guys are over there, is a toy repair shop, you know, one of those brownstones with the two levels, whatever, on Lexington Avenue, is a toy repair shop, and it's called the New York Doll Hospital. Anyway, so uh, one day after work, I'm meeting my, uh, my schoolmate, and I'm kind of teaching him how to play the blues. At least I think I know how to fucking play the blues at that time. Anyways, uh, his name is John Ginzali. Johnny Thunders. Come on. Come on. JT. JG. Anyways. So uh, we meet after work, and uh, we're walking down the, towards the 59th Street subway station to go back home to Queens, where we live. And I poke him in the arm, and I, and I point up to the sign, and I go, Johnny, wouldn't that be a great name for a band? He goes, So late, you're a fucking faggot. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny, Johnny Thumbs calls me a faggot. Can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> Just there alone, it's tits. <laughs> Anyways, he goes, what? The name of a band? The New York Doll Hospital? I go, no, 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 no. Just the New York Dolls. Yeah! This is all going to be my book, by the way. My book, I think I'm also going to call it uh, The Monkey Never Dies. What the hell? You know, fucking go with a roll, you know? Anyways, uh, it, it's, uh, I'm going to play the song called Trash for you. It's going to be my last Yeah! Uh, it goes something like this. This is a riff to trash. Now, you know who wrote that riff? Eddie Cochran. Eddie Cock. Come on, everybody. Anyways, that's Eddie Cochran, but he wrote that riff, okay? Um, I'm going to tell you something. Without that riff, we wouldn't even have a punk movement or whatever the fuck they want to call it. Okay, I'm going to show you how. Watch this. I hope he's not here, but he's up next. Anyways, watch this one. <laughs> But I just want to tell you that I fucking ripped it off first, okay? I was the first. <laughs> and I wrote trash with it. Watch this. 